are watching Kit Cabinet and this is the inbox review of the Fly Models Fiat G50 piece in 170 second scale. I've been eagerly waiting for quite a while for this thing to be released and when it was finally there I immediately bought it and then I didn't have the time to uh, take a good look at it. So let's do that now. Okay, here we have the spruce. And I must say on the spruce it looks already very, very nice. Have some, let it focus. Some nice recessed panel lining here. I've checked this with uh, some drawings and um, I think the general shape of the plane looks very good. Have some cockpit detail. This is of course a great improvement over the old Airfix kit. I don't know how it would compare to the AML kit. That one is a bit tricky to find nowadays. There's something though. The detail on the engine is a bit soft. I mean there is some cylinder detail but it's a bit yeah a bit rough but the the but the surfaces the the, the wing surfaces and everything they look very nice here we have the fuselage parts also looking very good as I compared this to uh, drawings and photographs I noticed something that the uh, the headrest bulge is somewhat is, is a bit too curved. It curves inward a bit too early here. It should like match up. I don't know if I can get this to focus probably. It has to like end here near that panel line, but it curves in a bit too early. It's not shocking, but it's noticeable when you know it. Some basic cockpit detail here. Yeah. The transparencies, multiple parts, and the windshield, which is basically the main part of the of the transparencies, is a bit more it distorts a bit, unfortunately. And I think it could use a bath of future. Or a similar product, but since it's an open cockpit, you'll uh, you'll be able to see the interior anyway. So now this kit also has some uh, really nice resin parts. There's also like the full uh, resin kit from SBS, which looks very nice, by the way. But it's like hmm, two or three times more expensive than this one. So your choice. But we're talking about this one. Um, yeah, the seat looks very nicely detailed with the seat belts and all. There's another thing. There's a little nice, nicely detailed gun sight. But of course, this being resin, the gun sight isn't transparent. So if you want a transparent gun sight, you'll have to cut this off anyway and like use a tiny piece of acetate to, uh, to get a proper gun sight. Machine guns with... Um, cooling holes looking very nicely detailed the decal sheet by cartograph or yes it looks nicely in register yeah I didn't expect anything else nice decal sheet for uh, it's like a, a Croatian version here a German version and two Italian versions to choose from. We'll see that uh, in the color uh, box art uh, in a minute. And here we have the instruction sheet with the sprue map. A color profile, there's more on the box. We'll look at that in a minute. And there's no backstory. No, oblig no obligatory backstory. Because who reads that anyway? Huh? Just want the model. 
Um, yeah, it looks very straightforward, the uh, assembly. Of course, this is a um, this is a short run kit, so I wouldn't say this uh, this is uh, fit for the uh, for the absolute beginner. But in all aspects, it looks uh, very much like a, a traditional kit. Of course, short run kits don't have like centering points and everything, so you'll have to be very careful to align everything carefully. But yeah, on the spruce it looks very, very good, very promising. And here we have all the beautiful versions that you can choose from. Like I said, two Italian versions, Croatian version and a German version. The Italian versions of course looking very, very colorful. I'm a bit surprised that they didn't like include a, a Finnish uh, version, because that would have looked nice. But oh well, can't have re everything. But I think I'm going to make a Finnish version anyway. So, all in all, I think this is a very nice welcome little kit. And, well, apart from the <coughs> the, the curving uh, of the, uh, the headrest um, bulge here, and maybe the engine detail, I think this is a very, very nicely de detailed kit and very good value for money.